So, for the past three days, maybe, I've been obsessing over a game quite badly. It's called Catherine. It looks like this. It's also available for the Xbox 360, as far as I know. Only that, and, and nothing else, those two platforms. And I've wanted to get this for the longest time. I've always heard how good the story is, and how it's really just a unique and very worthwhile experience. And very recently, I then decided, you know what, let's just pick it up, let's play it. Don't really care that it's maybe a little bit expensive for a used game, but that's fine. Here's my 20 euros, just give me the game, I want to play it. And as I was saying, I got it for the story, right? I heard that it's a really good story and that it's like comparable to maybe like a Persona 4. And it is that, it's a pretty good story, it's maybe not everything that I wanted it to be, but it's really neat with some of the things that it does, but what kind of struck me the most is the puzzles, right? Because it's a puzzle game at its core, I don't know if I've said that already, but how you progress in the story is by solving puzzles, right? And that is kind of weird to me, because I'm not a person that goes and seeks out puzzle games, right? I do enjoy puzzle games from time to time, I'm a big fan of Tetris, for example, but you won't find me playing Tetris, like, over and over again, right? Like, I, I play it, I'm like, oh yeah, this is a really well-designed game, I'm having a lot of fun. But then I, I don't know, turn off my Game Boy and that's it. But this stuck with me, like, even after turning off the PlayStation. It's kind of nuts like that, because when I'm now closing my eyes, what I see is these blocks that you have to move around in the game, right? Because that is what it's all about. You have to climb a wall of blocks and you have to slide them around in such a way that you can then climb on top of them and get to the like door or whatever at the very top of that uh, level. And it, it's really nuts because there's so many strategies that you can apply to the blocks. There's certain like like special kinds of blocks that do different things there's like ice blocks that you of course slide across and there's blocks that will shoot you up like five blocks or whatever or blocks with uh, spikes that kill you if you stand on them for too long and it's really deep with what it does and it's kind of funny because it kind of feeds you like these techniques whenever you talk to people they let you know about some kind of techniques that they figured out and uh while those don't really stick with you immediately, the cool thing is that once you then get into a level and kind of just try your best at solving the puzzle, you then just just stumble upon those techniques and then think back to how those people were telling you about them and then you kind of just realize, oh yeah, that is totally a thing that I can do from now on if I run into a similar situation. And I don't know. It's fucking, it's taken over my past three days, I've played nothing but Catherine, I finally beat it earlier today, and just wanted to sit down a little bit and talk about it and let you guys know that that is very much a game that you can check out and I would highly recommend checking it out. It's very Japanese with a lot of the stuff that it does, how it tells the story for example is very Japanese, I did make that Persona 4 comparison and that is something that I, I would very much uh, compared to, although it's maybe not as extensive as uh, the Persona story, or Persona 4 story is, that's the only one that I've played, but it touches on very neat things with its story. While it's very Japanese and very weird at some points, it really does things that other games don't do, right? It talks about a love story, like a, a relationship between two characters and uh, how then somebody else enters that and, and kind of messes that up a little bit. And yeah, it's just, it's a welcome little story there. Like, I really cared about my character and that he would uh, save his relationship, right? And the cool thing about all of that as well is that Kind of the puzzles that you do, and once again, those are like the main gameplay mechanics. There are also little like interactive novel kind of sections where you talk to people and kind of choose your answer and that then affects um, the outcome of the story. But for the most part, you are solving those puzzles. And what I was trying to get at is that those puzzles actually kind of act as a, 
a metaphor for what your character is going through in terms of the story. So, I don't know. I found it to be incredibly compelling, really just a genius little game. It's super different to anything else out there right now, so if you're looking for that, right? If you are okay with Japanese stories, if you are okay with your game only being about solving puzzles and also telling a story, um, then Catherine is absolutely a game that I would recommend. I did say that it's kind of, well, it's maybe not necessarily hard to find it, but it's not as cheap as you might think. I don't know, apparently they didn't produce too many of them, so I, as I was saying, uh, had to pay like 20 euros for a, a game, which is pretty... That, that's a pretty significant amount for a game that came out like, I don't even know, like two or three years ago? Let me check real quick, I don't want to get this wrong. Does it even say? Oh, two, yeah, 2012. So two years old at this point, and then, I don't know, picked up Spec Ops the line, which came out maybe like last year for like six euros, so yeah. It's maybe not the most inexpensive game, but highly recommend it for fans of Persona and just puzzle games. Very well designed puzzle games because, man, I hope I can like put all of this stuff behind me, right? Because it's, it's really fucking with my head whenever I see something I immediately see like blocks moving in and how then the the half-naked guy comes in and like moves these blocks around I'm going fucking insane over here anyway that's Catherine check it out and let me know what you think about it goodbye Your struggle. Come, climb up.